Hey guys, Loot Wizard here with another video on Gems of War, and in this one I'm going to be doing a Delve Faction battle. Now I'm trying to push the uh, my level higher and higher in this Delve Faction, and it's starting to get pretty difficult. Uh, I have a team here that I'm going to try. Uh, I've uh, died a few times already without defeating the boss room, but uh, so far this is the team that's given me the best success. I'm using the Titan Hero class for Rock Solid, and I'm using the weapon from the Sentinel class, which is the Shield of Verskaya, and it gives an ally 29 armor boosted by all enemy attack. The boost ratio is 2 to 1, and so half of all enemy attack will be added to me as armor, uh, and then it will enrage and barrier. So that's great for survivability. Then we have the... Uh, Ethereal Sentry here, which will be increasing the allies' attack by their armor, which will go really well with the shield. Then I have Apothecary for getting brown mana and also cleansing my allies. And in the last spot, I am using the Mythic card, Tina 9000, which deals true damage and then it gains armor. It reduces damage from spells by 50%. And uh, it will add 50% of armor to skull damage. So um, since there's going to be a lot of armor going on with uh, Tina's spell, uh, it's kind of my backup damage. Uh, if I lose the shield and I still have the sentry, I'll be casting the sentry on Tina for that skull damage. So let's go ahead and do a battle here. So first thing I want to do is try to get up the shield, which I currently have it up. Let's get some of these skulls out of the way because uh, we don't want that. Let's go ahead and cast this first because I got barrier anyway. It's not going to do any damage to me. And then we'll do that. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, that guy is going to keep hitting me but we'll do that now we have 300 attack let's go ahead and see if we can use apothecary i don't have any four matches unfortunately that's not good and titan class is great with rock solid for that barrier on brown matches let's go ahead and uh poke that guy with that skull and we do have a uh, extra turn match here for brown that's great so I'm gonna go ahead and cast this on myself again go ahead and increase my attack now I'm at 615 attack I will absolutely uh, single hit these guys boom and uh, I just need two more skulls the thing that would make this team even better is if I had a way to create uh, skulls, but I don't. But I don't. Alright, I only need one more skull match, but it looks like we can get a four match here on uh, our brown. And no skull match. Skulls. Oh, we can get Tina up, though. Oh, there's a skull match. Boom. All right, we're on to the second room now. And the only thing that could really hurt my uh, team here is if they have uh, a troop that moves my... my uh, allies around, which doesn't look like they do, but unfortunately... Glaceon is pretty powerful. Like you could wipe out my shield pretty easily with Glaceon, so that's dangerous. So let's see. We got a skull there. I need brown. Brown, brown, brown. Or well let's just do yellow to get that up since we don't have brown. There's a brown. Got a four match. This is up. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and convert purple to that. And let's go ahead and increase our armor. And then we'll go ahead and increase our attack. All right, I should one-shot stuff now. I have close to 400. 
damage. I do have Tina up as well. Go ahead and use that. Boom, one shot at Glaceon. Down he goes. Increase my armor with the shield again. And now I should one shot everything. So I'm going to focus on um, just getting armor from here on out. I just need the skull poke. Oh, looks like he gave that to me. I thought he was going to take that skull. Oh, I didn't one shot that guy. He's down to 15 health. Uh, well, we could increase our attack again. Might as well. All right, 874. Definitely going to one shot stuff. Now, this shield here. I'm just thinking. Yeah, I could go ahead and use this on this guy. I think I will. And then Apothecary can give us an extra turn here. And Skull Poke. Now, now we can cast the uh, Sentry here on itself, increase its own attack. Just as a backup, in case my shield goes down, I'll have some nice attack on my Sentry. Uh, let's see. It's really kind of annoying that I don't have a way to create skulls. That is kind of bothering me. But, I don't know. I'm going to have to look again. I don't think that I saw a way to create skulls with... Um, well, yeah, I think there's troops that I can. I'll have to look at it again. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and use Tina here. Almost killed him. Let's see. Now that those two are full, let's uh, use Apothecary and see if we can get Tina up again. Convert that. And... Oh, we have a skull. Yay. All right. On to the boss room we go. Now, this is going to be pretty tough. I've lost already twice at the boss room today. So let's see if I can pull it off this time. Mm, go ahead and get yellow. Oh wow, that was nice. It's nice when uh, the gems come down and just connect like that in your favor. Let's see, yeah, we get Apothecary up and then we can convert something to brown. Looks like yellow is going to be the one to convert. Ah, uh, so many four or five matches here. I just want to cast my shield on myself. There we go. Now we need to increase its attack. And... I don't have any skull matches. No brown either. That's just unfortunate. But we do have Apothecary up. Is there any way we can get a four match? Um, we can do green or red, but there's no four matches. Let's do green. Lots of brown there. Oh, we do have a skull. Kapawi one-shotted you, buddy. Cast the shield on myself again. One-shot that guy. Now let's increase my attack just to make sure. <laughs> I have 934 attack. That's amazing. All right, so we could do Tina here just to weaken those guys. If my shield goes down, Tina probably could take both of them out. But I don't see my shield going down unless they have death mark somehow. Just need to connect a couple of skulls here. Uh, let's see. Could use Apothecary on blue, I suppose. Ooh, we got a skull. All right. Bam. I just need one more skull. One more skull. 
And it's game over. There it is. Say goodbye, rat guy. Kabamo. All right, that is the boss room is defeated. Now I should be going up to level, what is it? I think I was at level 230, so I should be going up to like level 240 now. Let's collect our rewards. And we got, oh, maybe I went up higher. I got some Dark Pits Renown of 60. And let's go back and see level, uh, I'm still at level 230. I think it's going to, my next challenge is going up to level 240. But, uh, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. That's currently my team for pushing up uh, the level on my Dark Pits faction. So, later.